Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Anitra. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys how I transformed this rocking chair with just some spray paint. Um, so if you want to see how I did this makeover, please keep watching. Okay, so the first item that you'll need is some type of sandpaper. I have this six secret sandpaper that I just had lying around the house from other DIY projects that I've done. And you wanna make sure your sandpaper is specifically for wood. Um, the next item I have is this Rust-Oleum brand tack cloth. And basically the tack cloth is just gonna remove some dust and fine particles left over from the sanding process. And I have two of those as well. Um, and I have the Rust-Oleum brand um, spray paint. You wanna choose the spray paint of your choosing and you wanna make sure that it's for wood as well. And I have mine in the satin colonial red color. And last but not least, you'll need some type of drop cloth. I am doing this project outside, so I don't want to damage our grass in our backyard. So I'll be used, I'll be putting this down for um, stain prevention. Okay, now let's get started. So you want to take that piece of sandpaper that you have, and you just want to move in a back and forth direction. So basically the purpose of the sanding is to help the paint stick to the wood. Now we're not scraping the wood completely of its natural color. We're just sanding it lightly just so it could stick a little bit better. And I'm just gonna do this process all over the chair. Okay, so now we're done sanding and we're just going to take that tack cloth and we're just going to just basically go over the chair just to remove all of the sand that was left over. Um, I do recommend wearing some type of gloves because this tack paper is very sticky, hence the name tack um, cloth. So I'm just basically going over the entire chair with this, making sure there aren't any um, sand particles left over. And you guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are enjoying this video. And also so you don't miss out on any other new uploads that I post. Okay guys, so now we're moving on. And we're just going to lay down that drop cloth that I mentioned before. And it's just to prevent the grass from being stained that bright um, red color. Okay, so now we've reached the fun part of this video, the spray painting process. So you guys, this is actually my first time ever spray painting. So you'll see I spray a little bit. I'm like, oh, did I do this right? And I'm like, yeah, I like this color. So let's keep on going. <laughs>
Okay guys, so I'm actually done with the first um, coat of paint and I am absolutely in love with this color. So I'm just gonna let this dry for about an hour and then I'll come back and finish the second coat. Okay guys, I'm done with the second coat of paint and I'm just going to move the chair over into a secure area underneath the gazebo. That way if it rains, it won't um, damage the chair. And also I'm just going to allow this to dry for at least 48 hours before I bring it inside. That way I know it's fully, fully dry. Okay guys, so I brought the chair in. It is fully dry. And you may notice that there's a piece of felt strip that is off. It's like this in the front and the back of the chair. So I'm just going to use some Gorilla Wood Glue just to secure that in place. And I'm going to allow that to dry for at least um, 24 hours as well. Okay, guys, here is the finished product. I am absolutely in love with my rocking chair. The spray paint made a big difference, and I absolutely love it. We also added this cushion just to give it a more comfy feel, and it's absolutely perfect. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye.